Joe Hopkins here. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about, well, ab about my YouTube here, right? You, you could take a look. At the time I'm making this video, I don't have a ton of subscribers, right? So what do I know about, you know, getting started in YouTube, what you need to do, what you should uh, expect? And I can tell you, with YouTube, honestly, this ain't my first rodeo. I've done this a couple times before. And this channel isn't one that uh, that I, I had to go right out the gate of being like successful. This is kind of just for fun. I'm I'm having fun with this, and that's really cool. I've done other channels, and I wanted to set a couple things straight because I see all these videos online talking about uh, the YouTube channel. You can make it home and make money. Make money on YouTube without making videos without having to produce content with this with that and a lot of people making a lot of promises and guarantees i'll be honest with you i've tried a lot of different things and it doesn't always work even when you do it all the quote right way with the right kind of content and those types of, of channels where you you're, you're kind of doing the the get rich quick content idea Eh, a lot of times it doesn't really get that big. Even if you monetize, even if you get to where it, it's working, you look at like the biggest channels are all personality based, right? Uh, and, and people doing some pretty outrageous stuff sometimes. But even then, a lot of it is personality. You know, like Mr. Beast, PewDiePie. Uh, I'm looking at you, Stevie T. You got personality, bud. That's right. So... I'm trying to give you an idea. How can you get started in YouTube? In fact, why should you? Why should you get started in YouTube? And I'll tell you why. Because it's fun. And the, the best thing about it, right? You can get to a point on YouTube where you do make money. And it won't necessarily be a lot of money. It, it could be a lot of money. It could end up being a career for you. Or it could be something that just you get to where you make a couple hundred bucks a month. But the thing is, it is fun if you're doing something you enjoy, which is why I have this channel, this, my Joe Music channel. I'm trying to do something that I have fun with. I like playing music. I like playing songs. I like, uh, I like playing the guitar. I like buying guitars. This channel gives me an excuse to buy guitars, which is, I started it out just specifically as playing songs and uh, reviewing instruments, and uh, which I still do a lot of on this channel. That's still its main thing. I started doing the beer reviews because it's an excuse to drink beer. <laughs> and it really is. But I've, I've known a lot of people that have hobbies that they really like and they have a lot of, like, I, I know a lot of guys that collect guns. And I've told them, start a gun cha uh, channel. Start reviewing them. And they always say, well, then, you know, I don't have the money to buy guns. It's like, dude, you own 30 guns. I think you can get started and see if it, if it goes somewhere. You go and shoot the guns anyway. Just bring a video camera, videotape it. And, and that's the thing. Bring a camera. And everybody has, most people have a smartphone. And most people have pretty good cameras on their phones. Now, I, I use my HD Handycam. I've had it for years. I just haven't replaced it. Maybe I should. But uh, most of you guys out there have smartphones with a video cam, a good video camera on it. My wife has uh, an iPhone 12, and that thing is amazing. All you need is a tripod, right? Uh, I have, you know, my microphone, and, and I'm recording, you know, like semi-professionally here. But they have a lot of the uh, audio editing stuff on you know, that you can get for your phone, and they have those little lapel mics that, or other types of mics that attach to your phone, so you can get better sound. And you should start a YouTube channel, because it is fun, and there is always that chance, especially if you have a lot of friends that will subscribe and, and watch your videos because they like you, you have a pretty good chance of, of getting to that thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours, and monetizing and you can monetize your hobby if you like fishing if you like hiking you like cooking do what you do just uh, take the extra step to record it and see what happens now it's good to have good sound I've, I've kind of noticed uh, 
having decent sound seems more important than having better video quality. As long as the video quality is good enough, sound seems to make a difference. Like, really, nobody wants to, and, and I know this, I don't want to watch videos where it's just like the camera mic and, and it really isn't that good. You, you want decent sound. So if you're doing stuff where you move around a lot, like I just have, I'm not moving around a lot, I just have this, you know, microphone on a stand. Get a lapel mic, and they sell ones that plug into your smartphone. And, and I keep mentioning the smartphone because, honestly, there are apps where you can do all the editing and, and everything on the phone upload it from the phone. It's like one-stop shop, man. Everything from your phone, and we all have a phone. And a lot of this stuff, the apps and that kind of stuff, is is free or really cheap. And, uh, you know, there's, there's not a lot of outlay. And if you want to get uh, video editing software on, on your computer, there's decent free software. I, I don't know all the all the softwares. I just, I got PowerDirector, CyberLink PowerDirector. And, and just went with that. And I got that because my cousin bought me a version of it years ago for Christmas, so I know how to use it, so I just kept getting the new versions. <laughs> you know, it's, I'm familiar with it, and it does the job. But I'm sure there's better stuff. I'm sure there's better stuff for something you'd like to do. But honestly, I'm doing music and instruments because that's my hobby. And it's fun, and I don't mind doing it. It's stuff I do anyway. Like, uh, right now, I'm just, these are my thoughts, you know. Uh, I just set up a camera and say it out loud and take the extra step of uh, recording it and uploading it. And, I mean, if the channel ends up making money someday, bonus, that's great. If, as soon as it makes money, I'll use that money to buy more guitars <laughs> and review those guitars, which is kind of my idea in the first place. <coughs> you know, see if I can get to where I can monetize and use that to uh, pay for my hobby. <laughs> and if the hobby can pay for itself, there you go. It's like, uh, you know, I know people that have gotten their hobbies to pay for themselves. I, I know people that got into racing, uh, bracket racing, drag racing, dirt track, that kind of stuff that are good enough, good enough to win enough prize money to pay for the hobby. They're not making money, but they're not losing money and it's fun. YouTube's the same kind of thing. If you can get to where you can monetize, and you got to think, if, it, if you have a hobby where you have a lot of stuff that you can talk about and review and go over, you know, then you might have enough stuff to get to monetization, and then YouTube buys the stuff that you want, right? And even if you only make a little bit of money, it's something. And you're, you're then doing it professionally. Your hobby just became something you make a buck at. And that's why I would say give it a try. There's no guarantee you'll, uh, you'll make it, but if you're having fun, then it was fun trying. Even if you never make it to monetization, even if it never really goes anywhere, you know, obviously you're, it's unlikely you'll be the next PewDiePie. But if you're having fun, <clears throat> it's worth doing. It, and it could. It could take off. It could do really well. And some people have done really, a lot of people have done really well on YouTube. Uh, it doesn't take that many subscribers. You don't need like 5 million subscribers to uh, have it be kind of like your main gig, you know? So, take your hobby. Uh, all, all of you guys out there. Or even if you just like singing songs. Hey man, just start posting a song a week. Right? My wife and I did that for years. And uh, we never made it to monetization. We actually never even really tried. Uh, we had no intention of monetizing that channel. We were just doing it just for fun, and we did gospel music. We saw it as, as ministry. So we were just doing it to do it. But if you like singing songs, start recording yourself, you know? And uh, start putting it on there. See what people think. You might make it to monetization. You might get paid for singing songs that you would have sat around singing anyway. You might be better than you think, too. Or you might suck. <laughs> Everybody sucks at first, though. And also keep that in mind. If you do try YouTube, and I, I recommend that you do, at, at first you're not going to be that good. Nobody's that good at this at first. I, I think I'm still mediocre. Uh, I think it's a lack of effort on my part. But uh, I know how to do better than this. I just don't. That takes more work, and I don't want this to be work. I want it to be fun. But... Uh, <laughs> Legitimately, even if you suck at first, you'll get better. Everybody gets better at things the more you do it. So I, I tell you guys out there, start a YouTube channel. 
or if you're watching YouTube, right, if you're signed into your thing, you have a channel, right? It, it's, you just haven't put anything on it. Put something on it. Just, what the hell, man? <clears throat> Give it a shot. What do you like doing? And whatever it is, start a channel about that. Because uh, I know there's a lot of channels that give you advice on what to do. I say do what you're doing anyway. That way, if it doesn't succeed, and there's a pretty good chance you won't find a ton of success. But if it doesn't succeed, you're not out anything. Plus, it's a good excuse to do your hobby anyway. You can tell your spouse, well, I, I have to... I have to go fishing this morning. It's for YouTube. It's for my ch I'm trying to grow my channel. <laughs> I have to do this over. See, I have to buy guitars. It's for the channel. Yeah, that's right. I get the, uh, a bonus check or a stimulus or something, and I got to buy at least two guitars. It's for the channel. So you got to start your own channels, right? Put some stuff out there. If it doesn't succeed, if you're having fun doing it, you're not out anything. You haven't lost anything. Most of the, you can get video editing software for free. Most of us have a video camera on our phone. Maybe you spend a couple bucks on a tripod or, I don't know, you know, there's even free uh, picture editing software. So you can do, if you want to do like the fancy thumbnails like a lot of us do. It's not a lot of investment. You have most of what you need already. And if it succeeds, hey, you make a buck doing something you enjoy doing. And if it fails, you had fun doing it. And, uh, you know, throw me a line. Let me know, did you start a YouTube channel? And I, I like to check out new channels. Even if, even if it's not that good, I don't care. I like amateur stuff. I think it's great that all of us can kind of throw our hat in the ring and give it a try. So, hey, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel so I can be successful. And then if, if you start a channel, maybe uh, if it's any good or if I like it, it doesn't have to be good for me to like it. I like a lot of stuff that, that stinks. So I might subscribe to yours. But I love you guys. I'll, I'll see you in the next video where I'll hopefully be doing more music stuff. All right? Hey, peace out. Bye-bye, man.